we present MIP Splatting Alias Free 3D Gaussian Splatting. Recently, 3D Gaussian Splatting, or 3DGS, has demonstrated high quality, real time novel view synthesis results. However, we observe strong artifacts when changing the sampling rates, such as by changing the focal length or camera distance to the scene. To understand why this happens, let's first take a close look at how 3D Gaussians are rendered. Suppose we have a 3D object and the corresponding 2D images. We can represent the object with a 3D Gaussian and then project the Gaussian to image space to form an image. The Gaussians are optimized with gradient descent and they could be of any size. To present high frequency details in the scene, the 3D Gaussians will be small. However, when the Gaussians become small, it might lead to optimization issues when they fall between pixels or result in the creation of a large number of Gaussians, which in turn can cause out of memory issues. To avoid these issues, a dilation operation is applied in 3DGS to restrict the minimal size of 2D Gaussians in the image space. However, this dilation operation results in strong artifacts when changing the sampling rates. When zooming out or decreasing focal length, the projected Gaussians become small, while the dilation enlarges the 2D Gaussian to more than it should be, resulting in dilation artifacts as shown on the left. On the other hand, the dilation operation also leads to degenerated 3D Gaussians. Specifically, to represent high frequency details in the 2D space, the dilated Gaussian becomes small, which in turn results in very small 3D Gaussians. Here we show an extreme case when the 3D Gaussian becomes a delta function. The rendered results are reasonable at the training distance due to the compensation of dilation. When zooming in or increasing focal length, however, the amount of dilation does not match the real object, resulting in erosion and high-frequency artifacts. MIP splatting eliminates these artifacts in a principled way and makes it anti-aliasing. First, we propose a 3D smoothing filter that is applied to the 3D Gaussians in the world space before projection. It regularizes the maximal frequency of 3D Gaussians and enforces their minimal size in the world space. Since the 3D smoothing filter is induced from training images and doesn't rely on the image to be rendered, it does not suffer from the dilation artifacts discussed previously. Next, we propose a 2D MIP filter for anti-aliasing. In physical imaging, a pixel value integrates all incoming lights falling inside the pixel area. To simulate this, we use a 2D Gaussian filter to approximate a physical box filter. Our 2D MIP filter is configured to approximate exactly a single pixel area. Here, we show a comparison with 3DGS. Our method eliminates the dilation and erosion artifacts in 3DGS. Our quantitative evaluations show that MIP splatting outperforms 3DGS consistently across multiple scales. Our ablation study shows that without a 3D smoothing filter, strong high-frequency artifacts are presented when rendering high-resolution images, while our 3D smoothing filter eliminates the high-frequency artifacts effectively. Further, Without a 2D MIP filter, the rendering shows strong aliasing artifacts due to the lack of an anti-aliasing mechanism, while using our 2D MIP filter produces alias-free renderings. Please check our paper and website for more extensive comparisons, evaluations, code, and online viewers. Thanks for watching.